Uh, my name is Jason Bayes. I'm from the Pocono Mountains in Pennsylvania. And I'm a senior here at Southern New Hampshire University. And my major is business administration. Typical day, um, especially on the hectic days for academics, um, includes going to, going to the classes, receiving homework, uh, but being able to, to take time to study for the exam, to prepare, and the professors help a lot with outlining what they expect and giving you the work. Um, at Southern New Hampshire University, there's a lot of classrooms that are tailored to specific students and, and, their, and their interests, including the ad lab and the graphic design lab and the computer gaming um, room that students can excel and learn in their different interests. The classroom is based upon a lot of different ways of learning, and I think every single learning style is encompassed in the classroom as far as we practice and watch videos, but at the same time we do a lot of group work, there's a lot of engagement within the students, it's great to learn. Um, from all the different all the different realms and they really foster teamwork. Internships are required for some majors and the professors um, very much encourage all students to take internships to look and search for them because it provides a valuable work experience before going into into the workforce. As far as searching for an internship, um, our in Professor Bradley in the organizational leadership department had asked me to interview a president or CEO of a company. Um, and we could pick any, any one and he encouraged us to think big, so I decided to interview Bill Stanger, who's the president and CEO of Jay Peak Mountain Resort. He ended up at the end of it offering a full-time um, internship and then a full-time um, year-round job with the company. From the feedback that I heard from, from the students when I was here, that you really get to know your professors and you really get to, to forge that, to bond and have that relationship, a close relationship with your professors and also with the students, that it's a tight community and that there's a lot of involvement um, on campus, both possibilities in the classroom and outside of the classroom to be involved and continue to learn. My name is Emily Monjo. I'm from Westboro, Mass. Um, I'm a double major in elementary ed special ed and I'm a senior. Number 16, Emily Monjo. <laughs> I came to SNHU because they provided me with the tools to succeed in the classroom and on the field. I knew that I wanted to play two sports and this was the one school that allowed me to play both soccer and lacrosse that have conflicting schedules and I was able to make it work with my teachers, with my coaches and you know with my teammates and they're all so accommodating and nice about it so I was able to do all three. There are a total of eight teams for the women and eight teams for the men and there's also numerous intramural sports if you know, Division II isn't what you're looking for. You can also play intramural on the side, which is also really fun. In our small aerobics room, there's like Zumba, yoga, Pilates, cardio kickboxing, which are really fun and um, also great workout. I use the big gym all the time. It's a place for me to work out with my team, but it's also a place for me to go on my own and run the treadmill and lift weights. I've also used the rock climbing wall, which is a really awesome workout. It's difficult to balance athletics and academics, but the thing is, if you want to make it work, they're more than willing to help you with whatever you need. Whether it's organizing your class schedule or providing tutoring services for you, they do whatever you can so you can, you're can you able to play a sport here and then also succeed in the classroom as well. Every day we have practice for soccer or lacrosse, so if I'm in season in soccer, I'll go to classes all day, and then after I'll go to practice for a couple hours, and if I have a game, we'll prepare for the game. So the field's open for any teams, and then afterwards they usually hold the intramural games and practices. Coming to SNHU, you automatically have a group of friends if you play on a sports team. There's a designated 20 girls that are already there for you and have your back. So if you can walk onto that field knowing that you have all these friends, you feel more confident. And then off the field, you take your friends that you made you know, on the field, and you can hang out with them in your dorms or in your apartments. So it's really nice to have a team already set up for you. My name is Kelly Haskell. I'm a hospitality business major from Atkinson, New Hampshire, and I'm a senior. 
Campus activities are probably one of the coolest parts to being on this campus. There's so many different clubs and organizations you can be involved in. Academic clubs, there's service-based organizations if you like to volunteer and get involved in the community. And then there's clubs you can join just to have fun and do things that you like. Um, and it's so easy to start a club if there's something here that you want to do that's not offered. We put on a major concert or comedian every year. So in the past we've had 303 come to campus, Theory of a Dead Man. Um, we've had comedians, we had Dane Cook come to campus a couple years ago, um, but we also do smaller events. We do bingo every week, and bingo is pretty much one of the coolest events we have on campus. People get really into it. You get to meet a lot of new people that way, and you just get to meet those new friends you might not have met and do experience things you might not have done. We've done things like a senior pub night. Um, we've gone to a Boston Bruins game. We've done a Boston Harbor cruise, um, and usually every year there's a senior trip to Disney as well. Being involved on campus has been such a cool experience. I've met people that I never would have met if I hadn't done this. I've gained so many new experiences and skills that I can take with me when I graduate that people who don't get involved in clubs may never experience and they'll never have. So I feel so lucky to have been involved and become involved with the things I've done um, because I feel like I'm so much I'm so much more ready to graduate since I've done these things. My name is Kimberly Kovanoski. I'm from Holliston, Mass. I am a sophomore and I am undecided. I love living on campus. Living on campus is a great experience. Living with friends is so much fun. You don't have to go anywhere else to see them. They're right there next to you or in the next room over. We are in Hampton. It is the East Side residence halls for mo mostly sophomores. They're called pod style living. There's two doubles and two singles, so it's six person residency. Every building on campus is locked and the way you have access to it is through your ID card. Living in a pod, you, have, you can decorate pretty much however you want. We have different pictures as you can see and different um, stickers and stuff like that and posters. We have decorations in the hall for the different seasons. You can decorate your door however you want. Last year I wrapped my door in wrapping paper for Christmas season and we're going to do that again. We have the wardrobes with two drawers on the bottom and then we'll ha we have two separate drawers that we can move wherever we want. My roommate and I have ours under our beds for extra storage. And then you, we all have our desks and our chairs that have three drawers and one drawer for like underneath. I chose this NHU because I got that aha moment that everyone was talking about when I drove onto campus. I had been to five other schools before and I didn't have that aha moment. I drove onto this campus. It's a warm, welcoming campus. Everyone's really friendly. It's a really sense of a community and like home feeling. Everyone's really nice. No one gives you like the look like, oh, they're new. Like, who are you? They, they're very welcoming. They're very helpful. If anyone's ever lost, you're never afraid to ask anyone where something is and it's just like second home for me. <laughs>